Hello, in this video I'm going to be going over how to add any character to Unreal Engine using Mixamo. So I'm on the Mixamo website and if you just search for browse characters and as we can see in the characters they have loads of different characters which you can select from. So whole range and I'm just going to select my name as Mutant you can see but we can also add our own custom characters if we had our own models or found them so I use websites like Sketchfab and I found this Spider-Man model and sometimes you can download them and we can like add them to Mixmo and then add them to Unreal Engine so what you want to do is upload your character and as long as it's an FBX or OBJ model you can upload it to Mixmo and rig it and give him some animations just wait for it to load and as you can see he's now in the auto rigger so next if you just put the chin icons where his chin is and we'll just do the same with his wrist his elbows and his knees and this will just let the machine know where to place its bones in the model so I'll just add it to his knees and then to his groin and we can select no fingers so if our model had no fingers but he has five fingers so we're just going to select standard skeleton and click next and wait for it to rig and once it's all rigged and processed he'll be animated so now we're just going to add some animations to him so if we click next it will now be of our custom character so the first thing we will do is download his skeleton as we're going to need to reference this in Unreal Engine so we just click download and we'll get his skeleton. So now we're going to find some animations for him. So if we just go to the animation section and if we search for idle, we'll see there are loads of different animations. Like Mixmo is great because it has so many different free animations which you can use for 3D characters. So we can also adjust his overdrive or arm space. I'm going to select this idle animation for my character and just download it. You can select any. So we'll just wait for it to download. And once we've got that, the next thing we'll do is search for a walk animation. Any walk animation is fine. We just need to make sure that we can click the in place box so he walks in place. And we'll download this as well. And next we'll find his run animation. So this one's fine. And again, we'll just want to click the in place button that we can have this working and just click download so next we're going to find his jumping animation so while he's jumping up and he's whilst he's in the air so we search for jump up sorry jump and we can find his jumping up animation and we just click download and on the next page you'll find this full a loop animation and we'll need this this will be his animation while he's just falling through the air. And then finally, we're just going to find his jump down animation. So he search for jumping down. And we this is the animation I normally use. So we just click jump down and click download. And now we'll have all our characters' animations. So next, we're just going to import these all into Unreal Engine. So first, in the content, I'm going to create a new folder. And this will be Spider-Man. This is where I'm going to store all of his animations. So if we just first drag on his Skellington, which is the first thing we downloaded, and just import this, and import, and now his Skellington will be in Unreal Engine. So next we're going to add all his animations and reference the Skellington. So if we just select them all, and then we'll drag it in, and we are going to uncheck the import whoops the import mesh button and skeleton we'll just select the spider man skeleton and we'll import all his animations okay and the final thing if your character has any textures i'll just drag them in and then right click and create material okay so i'm just gonna expand on our engine and if we find click on his skeletal mesh asset so just in here, and then you want to just select the texture which we just created. So our character has this texture. So just save this all, and we'll close this. 
So next we'll right click and create animation and find blend space 1D and select the scanning tool of your character. <coughs> so I'll just call this idle underscore run and we just go inside it. Uh, sorry, my, my model is really uh, small, maybe a bit hard to see. So if we go to idle and just track this at the zero value. So when he's not moving, he's just going to be in his idle animation. Hopefully you can see that. And then next we're going to add walking so he can move from his idle to his walking stage. And we drag the screen button, we can see that he can move from idle to his walking. And finally, we'll just add his running at the end and we can see he moves from idle to walking to his running animation. Okay, so once we have that, we will just save and close this. So the next uh, step is to create his animation blueprint. So if we right click, go animation, and find animation blueprint. And as it's skeleton, we're just gonna select the skeleton we first made. And I'm just gonna name this Spider-Man and MVP. And if we just go inside and right click and find state machine. So we'll just plug this in. So he does these animations inside the state machine. So first we will just grab the idle underscore run, which we just created and plug this in. And if we go inside here, we'll create a new variable and we'll just change this to a float and name this speed. And we'll just uh, plug this in and compile. And now our character will be able to walk and run around. Yes, he has those animations. So next we're gonna add his whole jumping so he can jump up and land in the air and like go through the air. So if we drag the jump up from idle to run. So if we go in here and create a new variable, is an air and we'll make this a boolean. Um, oops, we just need to plug this in first. So get is an air and then drag this in. So when we're in the air, we're gonna start to be able to jump up and put in it. So if we get the full A loop, so we just plug this in. Once he's jumped up, if we go inside here. So what we're gonna do next is if we just search for a jump up time remaining ratio, and if we just find it and just select it, and just drag this, and off of this, we're gonna get less than. So float and then we'll just put 0.5 this will just allow us to adjust the tr transition from him moving from the jump up to his jumping for a loop and next we will just need to find his jump down animation and we'll just plug this in so that he can move from his for a loop to his jumping down animation so i'm just going to move this plug it in and uh, yep let's load it and uh, inside here we'll get that is an air variable uh, this is not boolean and we'll just plug this in and then we'll just plug this into the idle underscore run and inside here we'll do a similar thing where we get the right click and get jumping down time remaining ratio and we'll get less than and again I'm just gonna make this 0.5 and this just allow the to adjust the transition between him landing and if we just compile we have now our character should have all his animations so if we go into his event graph what i normally do is i just go into the mannequin and character and we go into his animations and if we go to the third person bp animations in his event graph if we go there and if we just copy all of this so we control c and go into your character we'll just delete this and we'll control V and paste it. And we'll just replace the is in there with our set is in there. So we'll just plug this in and get from the is valid into our one. Then we can delete this and we'll just replace the speed with the speed we created. And then just plug that in and we'll plug the is in there into our speed and just compile so it all saves. So the final step is just to add this and replace the third person character. So if we go into him and go into the viewport and select the Spider-Man skeletal mesh 
and click this if we want to scale them up i'm just gonna make them five okay so he's still a bit small so 15 so he's still a bit small so you just want to scale this character to the correct size so i'm just making him 120 and then in his anim class We'll just select the animation blueprint we just created. So I'm gonna select Fired Man and MVP and just compile. And now we have our character. So if we just click play, we now just have our character, which we just saw. Uh, his jump up's a bit off, so I'm just gonna adjust this. So the way to make this a bit more smooth is if we go into our animation. BP and go into new state machine. Go in here. We just adjust this value to a higher value. It'll make it so it's a bit smoother. And we just compile and play. And now it's a bit smoother. And this is how to add any character to our engine. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next week. Bye.